hands on. Ooh. Hello friends, this is Pastor Daniel Govaya. Thank you so much for checking out this review. These are new boxes for a Bible that has been around for a while. The previous boxes looked like this. I never owned one. I saw these Bibles many times. I was very interested. If you have been uh, following my channel for a while, you know that I have a very soft spot for the NKJV translation, so it's my main translation in English. And um, even though I have had one in my hands once I didn't buy it and I always had mixed feelings about these Bibles the Cambridge wide margin Bibles um, I'll tell you why in a minute but um, yeah this is the old box I ordered the Aquila on Amazon but uh, this got delivered and I understand why because it's basically or exactly the same Bible but now it has a different title with a different box so um, I actually thought about returning this one and I ordered this one again and it came but it came with a big dent here in the box the Amazon cardboard box had a big dent and I opened it up and then this box had a big dent as well and actually the Bible that came in this box uh, the, with the new Aquila box actually suffered in the upper left corner as well. I don't know if you can see it there. There you go. See, it's, uh, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. But anyways, just giving you a look at the new box with the cool eagle here. I believe that the Cambridge Wide Margin Bibles, um, they were called the eagle by many people. So yeah, so now they are calling it eagle. Yeah, that's a nice, nice thing, nice feature. And uh, here's the a look at the back of the box. There you go, Aquila wide margin and uh, here you have the the old box in the back there you go so I decided to go with the um, black calf split leather and this is not the goat skin it's a uh, calf split leather as you can see there and I'm I actually am very well surprised with this calf split leather um, it has a really really nice grain they're both very similar both the Aquila and the old NKJV wide margin by Cambridge actually it's exactly the same Bible I checked the printing uh, date and everything it's exactly the same so the only difference I see in the cover is that uh, the one that came in the new box the Aquila has the the hubs these are tooled hubs in the spine the hubs in the Aquila are just a little bit more pronounced than in this one but other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same thing in and out. So again, very, very nice uh, grain in this calf split leather, black calf split leather. Does not have perimeter stitching, just this little tool line here. And when you open it up, it is a paste down liner. I believe the goat skin is edge lined, but these are paste down liner. It is um, Smite Soon, and you see there the 
tail band has red and yellow, a red and yellow tail band, and a red and yellow headband. It has gold gilding, even though there's no red under the gold. If you buy the goatskin edition, it's considerably more expensive, but it has red under gold and the edge lining. That's what I believe. It has two ribbons. They have a little bit of a rugged texture, but they're long, they're wide, they're really nice. They do not have a diagonal cut. Um, they're like just straight like that. And uh, yeah, they're really nice. Black, very, very cool. I don't know if the goatskin edition, if they're black or red. I haven't checked that, but yeah, they might be red. I actually love the black ones. Corner work is really nice, nicely done. As you can see there, yeah. Let's show you this side as well. Yep, very nice, okay. So you opened it up and you have here a thick sheet of paper, then a presentation page also in this thick paper, then a title page, the Holy Bible, New King James Version. Then you have, again, a secondary title page with the NKJV logo and the Cambridge University Press logo. Then you have the information page right here and it will tell you again that this was first published in 2008 and reprinted in 2019. Now this is exactly the same for both Bibles that got to my doorstep. The typeset is in 7.9 point on 8.2 point lexicon number one by Blue Heron Bookcraft, printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. So the good thing about these Bibles is that they use a really nice uh, paper, is thicker paper, so you can make annotations, of course, it's a wide margin. And um, I really love this paper, I think it's awesome. So you have here the table of contents, Books of the Bible in alphabetical order, preface to the New King James Version. And there's a ton of reviews online of these Bibles, so I'm not going to make this very long, but just want to show you the Bible and show you how the new Aquila, if you were curious like me, yes, is exactly the same as the previous um, edition of the Cambridge Wide Margin and KJV. Okay. Um, at least these two that I have here in my house, they are exactly the same. If I put them side by side, maybe the paper in the uh, new one is maybe just a little bit, tad bit whiter, I would say. Um, not even that. Uh, yeah, it's exactly the same thing. Exactly the same thing. Maybe this one smells a little bit newer, that's all. Because I was comparing the two and they have no difference. So uh, here you go, the text. It's a double column um, format with a center column for references and uh, it's exactly the same layout as the NKJV Pit Minion. Uh, I reviewed this Bible in the past, loved this Bible, and uh, the difference is of course the wide margins and the font is bigger in the uh, wide margin reference edition. But the layout is exactly the same that you will find in the Pit Minion uh, New King James. And I believe it's the same for different other translations like the ESV, the NASV. Um, I really love these margins. They are awesome. They're amazing. It's one inch and a half in the outer margins. And you have one inch in the upper margin, one inch in the gutter. Um, and the margin that goes into the gutter, and a little bit over one inch at the bottom of the page. So yeah, I mean, these margins are amazing. Um, the Bible, to me, that's why I have a little bit of mixed feelings. Um, the Bible, to me, is awesome, with the exception of two things. First, is a little bit uh, square. Of course, it's a rectangle, but it's it's very wide. Of course, it's a wide margin, so it's very wide. Um, it's not very thick. Um, but the font to me is a little bit tiny. I mean, I can read it, no problem, but um, I like a little bit of, of a bigger font, and the Bible 
verses don't stand out. I really like when the Bible verses stand out. These Bible verses are very tiny. They don't stand out. And that, to me, is the main reason or the main reasons why this Bible, mm, yeah, I have mixed feelings about that. Even though it's a New King James and it's a wide margin and it's a very good quality premium Bible. So, yeah, it's hard. You do have a poetic setting, as you can see here, and it looks really nice. Uh, here, when you, when you have poetry in the Psalms, for example, you do have verse numbers that stand out because they are uh, separated from the text. And it is a red letter Bible. The red is very nice. It's a dark shade of red. And it looks really good. You do have, besides the references in the center, um, it, when there's more references than center column here, you will find them under the right column of the page. So the extra references there. Yeah, very nice. I mean, these Bibles have become very popular for a reason. I mean, these are awesome Bibles. My heart always feels a little bit conflicted because I love it, and at the same time, I don't love it as much as I want to love it. <laughs> you know, it's kind of big, um, it's very wide, and uh, yeah, yeah, it's, um, but at the same time, it's not super big and still portable because it's not very um, thick. So, yeah. When you have the end of a book, sometimes you have an, on the same page the start of another book. So the books don't start in a new page, not always. Okay, so just bear, bear that in mind. Sometimes they do. Look at here, Second Peter. And they don't start uh, First John uh, in the same page when Second Peter ends. So sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Here's another example. Daniel ends. Hosea starts on the same page. Uh, the red letter does go through Revelation. Let me show you here. There you go. Revelation. So you come to the end of Revelation and you have a concordance, a really, really nice concordance. This concordance is bigger and uh, has way more references than the concordance in the pit minion. Um, so yeah, you have a ton, a ton of information here. This is a huge concordance for just a reference Bible. So yeah, I have a ton of material here. Then you have index to notes in here, uh, the alphabet and blank pages. Very nice. And then you also have lined paper with two columns, um, tons of paper here. So again, I'm not going to do a very in-depth review because this Bible has been reviewed like uh, probably thousands of times. So Cambridge Bible Maps, there's 15 of them. And here's the map index. And um, after that, you have the actual maps. There you go some nice colors and a very nice paper it's not shiny not glossy paper so i love that i love bible maps like that i uh, really love these really love the skylars as well um so yeah they these look awesome then some uh, thick paper to add structure and that is the end of the bible so again the NKJV Aquila Wide Margin Reference Edition. So new title, Aquila, new box, but uh, exactly the same interior. Just to give you an idea of um, the size as a comparison with the NKJV Wide Margin by Thomas Nelson, I'm going to show you how the Thomas Nelson is thicker, okay? And it's just a little bit of a bigger Bible when you compare the two. Of course, because it has this awesome, amazing font that is bigger. So, can't complain about the font with this one. It's amazing. And it has, of course, differences. The uh, translation notes and, and cross-references are centered in the bottom. And it's a verse-by-verse. -verse. The verses do stand out. They're great. I love it. Um, but, yeah, it's really big. So, yeah. It's a wide margin. You know, wide margin Bibles have to be big. So, I know that. I know that. So, um, yeah. Friends, that was my quick review of the Aquila Wide Margin Reference Edition. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And I'll see you on my next video, God willing. Whatever Bible you use, 
please read it with faith, read it with prayer, and remember that Jesus loves you, Jesus was crucified for you, and he was crucified for me.